And I've just done a uh, presentation on uh, Claret and Fitu, uh, two of the oldest dry wine appellations here in the Languedoc. These are two appellations, particularly Claret, which are not particularly well known. Fitu is more well known in certain markets, but compared to other appellations in the, in the Languedoc, like for example the Minervois, the Corbière, which are, are more well known, uh, it's quite nice to give uh, yeah, a little bit of, uh, shall we say, oxygen to uh, a couple of appellations which are, are less well known. And they do have a, something in common in that they were the first uh, appellations to be, or for dry wines to be awarded uh, AOC status in 1948. Buyers are always looking for something uh, a little bit unusual. I mean, normally within their wine ranges they have you know, certain generic wines which obviously clearly sell well and bring in uh, good levels of sales and profit. But as buyers you'd like to discover something new. Uh, and if you look at appellations like this, you will find some unusual things. And uh, we all, as buyers, we like to find something that's unusual which nobody else has. And if you look at appellations like this, you would certainly find those things. And if I take Fitu as an example, I mean, from my own uh, uh, experiences in the UK market where Fitu is widely available. But the Fitu are widely available, it tends to be sold in supermarket, and it's pretty much the same wine whichever shop you go into. And yet, you come to something like this, you suddenly realize that Fitu is an appellation that can produce some really, really high quality wine. Yet, you don't see it that often. So it's a, it's a, it's a wine that I really think deserves to have uh, more shelf space and definitely be more well known.